Yo, <laughs> random trip to Grouse Mountain. So this is actually my first time here at the Snowboard Ski Resort. Um, it's like 20 minutes drive from Vancouver downtown. I'm here mainly for the fondue that they're gonna be having later. Just like cheese fondue, chocolate fondue. But it is until later on, not till like seven, so I got like half an hour to kill. Um, probably go around this area and explore a bit and show you guys exactly what this place is like. So sick. It is remarkably refreshing up here and not too cold and not dry either, like Calgary is. So I actually prefer this kind of snow where it's not so, so cold. Like, it's nice to be outside. And I have a puppy jacket to boot, so I'm actually okay. Uh, shout outs to Stance Nation for the 326 power gloves. here that's gonna be what really digs you into the snow so once you've got your foot far enough forward all you need to do to tighten these straps is just pull on that loop there and it'll cinch them nice and tight does that all make sense to everybody perfect okay one two all right it's kind of dark in the middle of the mountains but we're all set we got them snowshoes on we got a headlight we're ready Sweetie. Is it okay? Go on in a little bit closer. Are you wanting like a really casual walk? Or are you wanting something a little bit more like hiking and getting out there? Maybe we could just sort of get a sense of our numbers. If you're feeling like really low key, really casual over this side. If you're like pretty high energy, you have some energy to burn over this way. Maybe and if you're somewhere casual. in the middle, then just stay somewhere in the middle. And then we'll just... We'll see where we can get to. We'll find some fresh snow and we'll try and take you into some special spots that you probably wouldn't go if you hadn't found a guide to take you out. So, does that sound good to everyone? Yeah. Yes. Here it is. Beautiful. Wow. That's awesome. Day 468, and we're still in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be a light walk. Come on, baby! Looks like everybody's all doing the same route. Yeah, I know, right? Light walk. Crazy. Wow. working on the feast house, his grandmother passed away. So he decided to carve this in remembrance of her. And it's carved out of yellow cedar, which is a really amazing wood for carving because even after it's, it's dead, it's actually still really, really strong. So it's great for 
wood carvings, they last. They're actually missing pupils, but that's intentional. And there's a couple of reasons that have been suggested. One of them is that because she passed away, it's showing that she's dead. But another reason, and one that I like, is apparently that is meant to show that instead of looking out into the physical world, she's more introspective. She's looking inward and more contemplative. It's a unique little carving, again, kind of easy to miss if you're not looking for it, so I wanted to make sure that I pointed it out. Um, so yeah, if you want to have a look, or take a picture or anything, like, take a moment to do that. And once we're all ready, we're going to keep on going. So in the summertime, you actually have to look a little bit up for her. Of course, we've got several meters of snow, and sometimes we actually have her buried. <laughs> pause again to give you guys a chance to see the Haywis Feast House. Haywis is Squamish for Chief, so this is actually called the Chief's Feast House. And we have another beautiful wood carving. The entrance pole in the front was done by the same artist who did the grandmother tree. At the bottom we have a bear, which symbolizes strength and is tied more to the physical world. At the top of the pole we have a eagle, which symbolizes foresight, wisdom, and is more tied to the spiritual world. It's because that is meant to symbolize that sometimes the physical and the spiritual become disconnected. Inside the feast house is where they will be brought together for ceremonies. The entrance is just small, so for most adults, Whoa. you would have to bend <laughs> down a little bit. And that is intentional, that means... All right, what? we're like halfway through this tour, but so far so good. No one's sunk into any snow sinkholes. And so far, what is that? <laughs> Could be. This is fun. Yo, we made it. <gasps> we made it back. Uh, guys, trek over. We are back. Hey, they're playing Daft Punk too. That is such a sick view. Looks like someone built a snow sculpture. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. You guys were super Yeah. That's for you. Ah, thank you so much. Thanks for the tour. Oh, Much appreciated. Cheers. My pleasure. Thanks yeah, for coming have a good out. night. <laughs> I'm glad you guys managed to get out for this one. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. fun. All right. Good. Thank you. All right. Now that that tour is over, fondue. All right, this is what we came here for. Let's try this out. Yo, good morning guys. Today is the last day of my stay in Vancouver and it's actually snowing. So before I make my 10 hour trek back towards Calgary in this Nissan Rogue, I promised my mom that I would go grab her some delicious meat buns at this place called Newtown Bakery, which is located in Chinatown, Vancouver. These guys are renowned for their shopao or their meat buns. They're just really, really delicious. Uh, so I'm gonna pick up myself a couple and then actually I'm not gonna be going home alone Derpy FRS is gonna be coming with me on the way back. So hopefully I can sleep on the ride out We can take turns or something Simon's just gonna come with me and he's gonna install a couple of things on our other car buddies cars uh, Save him the airplane ticket too. I haven't really checked the roads or anything So hopefully it's smooth sailing from here till Calgary, but yeah, we're just gonna slowly make our way back starting now Really, dude? Look at that. That is insane. They don't give a shit. Alright. Newtown Bakery is coming up on the left. Derpy's infamous garage. What is 
this get up to? Yoo-hoo! Dang! <laughs> what are you up to, man? Yeah, yeah. Damn, son. You need help? Oops. So if you guys aren't too familiar with this garage, this is where the birth of the first rally backer in Canada took place. This is where we built my car. Yosh. Simon. Wide body conversion, four days tops. Basically where we built my car and friendships were formed. This infamous derpy FRS garage, which is right now convoluted with car parts. There's MR2 and derpy FRS is under construction. So that's why it looks like this too. Boy. Yeah. Cray. Cray, cray. I think they're not suited for this application. Maybe they use the wrong bolts because they all sheared off. Like that. So Holy shit. Good. You think that for a thousand bucks you get something good. Liquid Molly does full on nude sh photos. <laughs> It's like I'm leaving here with a lot more stuff than I came here with. Right now we're just playing Tetris in the back of this Rogue. <laughs> and Derpy's bringing his entire Origins Lab kit, which was supposed to be meant for this FRS. I think he's selling it to somebody in Calgary, so there's that. <laughs> so for those wondering, this MR2, Estimated to be up and running by the end of March. Car's fully packed. I think we're ready. Who cares about blind spots, right? And it is starting to rain in Vancouver. So, since you guys have probably seen this many times over already on this channel, I'll just skip the 10 hours and see you guys back in Calgary. Okay, we're home. Home sweet bed. Uh, I can pass out. So on camera, Split second, but in reality, 12 hours. I should go help Simon bring shit in. Oh damn, oh damn. High tops are better than these. Origin Labs kit for the FRS or BRZ for sale. From absolutely no snow to negative 25. Beautiful. It's 3 a.m., but you know what time it is. 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m.? <laughs> Fuck. I think I am gonna end this video here. It's been a long, long day, but the next few days, while well, Simon's in Calgary, we have shit to do. Also, a big announcement. Me and Simon, in a week's time, are gonna be meeting up with a couple of our buddies in Hawaii. So we'll get some rest, and I'll leave you guys be. I'll see you guys on the next video, though. the truck for the amusement park slingshot. This is pretty much what it was like when I was leaving Calgary. Yeah. Are they stopping us? No way, bros. Yo, what's Birdie doing in front of the car, man? Shit. Uh, <laughs> no, no! <laughs> you vlog that shit? Yeah. Thank you. What is this shit? <sighs> Blame Canada. Back in business, boys.
even say anything. That's jinxing it already.